throughout the country, doors are once again opening to the promise of change. And change is relative depending on your perspective. It can be a promise that this time we're going to do things differently. More often than not, it appears as a demand born out of frustration. And for a generation of Irish people, positive societal change has been a reality. Now, your grand love, things never change around here. And even if they did, when have I not been the target of people in power? Do you think I choose to live in poverty? Do you? And come in, I ask you. When can I stop worrying about getting a call from the landlord? I'm sure I'd love to go back to work, but it's hardly as if I could bring the kids with me now, is it? Maybe when they're older. Our generation, yes, were the children of the Good Friday Agreement. We watched as a Celtic tiger consumed us and embraced love, compassion and trust so that our constitution better reflects the decency by which we have always defined ourselves. And yet, every day in Ireland there is a demand for simple changes that can vastly improve the lives of people who call our island home. And, and that's right. No, you're, you're okay, son. I've just been telling your canvassers, you know, individual politicians promising change. Pull the other one, will you? It's the system that's fractured, the system. It needs a radical overhaul. Do you know what happened to me? Last week, I was spent three days, long days, on a hospital trolley up in the matter. And I've just been told that my granddaughter's been made homeless. She's gonna have to stay in one of those hubs. Do, do you know what it's like to be afraid, do you? Maybe it's about a simple change of perspective. If our generation views ourselves as European, why then can we not aspire for the very best of what our counterparts have to offer? Dublin families can benefit from Dutch door workers' rights, from German city infrastructure and transport, from Denmark's universal healthcare, Sweden's subsidised childcare, and Finland's quality of education. Ah, oh no, you're all right, pal. So the only thing that's changed around here is the type of jobs that all the neighbours are doing. Do you think that I could get one of them cushy little jobs in one of them big tech companies, do you? I used to work in a supermarket up until a few weeks ago. And then they replaced me with one of them automated tills. Just my luck though, isn't it? The time for incremental change has long since passed. Our generation is on the business end of massive societal change that will require courage in advancing climate leadership, in responding without fear to the threat of increased automation and acknowledging that a European Union built upon the ideals of shared peace and prosperity cannot stand while 24% of its citizens are living in poverty. Can you believe this is happening? Are you okay? No, I'm not bloody okay. I've been living here for eight years. I have always paid my rent, but they keep increasing it. So I can't afford to live here any longer. I never thought I'd become just another figure. I did everything I could, yet here I am at my age, having to move in with my sister and her family. Something has to be changed around here. This election cannot be about those who call themselves experienced politicians, but rather about us who have experienced their form of politics. My name is Gary Gannon, a candidate in the European parliamentary election on May 24th who recognises what change looks like. It looks like you and it looks like us.